While well, vlogging inside of ShopRite was nearly impossible, <laughs> I guess I got enough to play with. I'm heading home now to put away my groceries, take a shower, and then get ready to make some chili. It's very dark in here, and my windows are fogged up. So I'm gonna try to defog those before I pull out. Very dark. Very dark indeed. I sure hope not. Hi, what well, am I me? It's not what it looks like. Okay, so I am going to be making my infamous chili that I actually haven't made in a while. <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a while. So I'm gonna be making chili as best as I can remember. Let me gather my ingredients. So I did go to the supermarket today and I'm kind of cold, don't mind me. So clearly, I'm dressed for the summer. So let me put this all on the side. This is the pan that we're gonna be using. It's from Fistler Pan Pot, whatever you want it to be. I got this from Fistler from Influencer for free for testing purposes, which I'm going to insert a video. Apparently on my birthday that's what it when it was gonna go up but we're gonna use this tonight and try making chili and that's what I'm gonna use for the I'm gonna make for the first time with this pot or pan it's the wrong dough and I'll insert that in here too for you in case you're interested in learning about it or buying it it ranges from 100 and something to 100 and something to $200 more or less but I got it for free and it's right on my hair I was trying to make it look cute, but it doesn't look cute. Ow, I got my nails stuck in there. The seasonings that I want to grab already. Shoot, I forgot to get regular pepper, didn't I? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna use this, not this. Some of this. Hey, buns. I'm filming. So you know, chili powder, some onions. I'm gonna use uh, McCormick Girl Meats, coarse black pepper, and flake salt house blend. It's supposed to be for grilling, but we could use that for this. Salt, black pepper, garlic, onion, and celery seed, which is perfectly fine. It smells like everything that's in it. Some Badia Polvo de Chili Powder. I personally like the, the Latin versions because they're cheaper, to be honest, I learned when grocery shopping, and um, they're very good. Then I have the Cento ground garlic powder. Garlic powder. <laughs> that we're gonna put in there too. And let me grab my olive oil. Oh, and I got some Tabasco for steak, uh, for taste. This, you know, the regular, regular, traditional Tabasco. To me, this is tra traditional. For taste. And I have my 
Extra virgin olive oil, robust salad marinades. This stuff is good. I use extra virgin olive oil almost everything. Almost everything. My largest cutting board. This is my largest, one of my largest ones. Exhibit A. I'm gonna get some of that dust out of here. Put a nice bit of olive oil in there. Should bring this over so you can see. Bring this over or bring this over. Where we start, we start and turn the can't speak. Turn the stove on. One strong one. The first thing we're gonna cook is, and I'm gonna see how much room I can fit in here. But I might do batches. I might not. I did buy peppers, and I have um, avocados inside. If I decide to do that, I have avocados that are in the refrigerator chilling that were better pretty ripe to me. I got red peppers. These are made in Mexico, apparently. Red peppers, I love red peppers. And then the other ones didn't look too good. I usually get whatever looks good or a variety. I wanted to get orange and yellow, maybe green, but they didn't look too good. And then I got poblano because they looked really good and I love poblano and they give it a nice spice to it, a nice kick. So that's great. And I have a sweet yellow onion. So I'm gonna rinse these off. Try to chop them as fast as I can. Get them in the pan and the onion. Rose homemade margarita pizza sauce because I usually use jarred sauce in my chili. I may not use the whole jar. It may, depends on how I feel. And I got Rienzi's red kidney beans because out of the other options I had, this one was one of the least complicated because I don't want sugar in it. This says it's just red kidney beans and water and I'm gonna drain them and rinse them in water in the sink before I add them in. I'm going to try not to forget to do that. So this is on like a medium heat and I'm just going to start chopping away. And then and I would use like different beans. So like I thought I was making one with like like turkey, let's say for instance, ground turkey. I'd use Catalini beans, like something like that. And I change it up, something that I thought maybe paired well with it and it came out delicious. My sister was my joke. And I would put I would make like ow. Oh, like one animal chili, and then I would put like a different cheese on another animal. Oh, should I cut myself? Damn it, I don't think I have time. After I cut this, I'm probably gonna grab the bandaid. <laughs> oh my god, I'm bleeding. Yeah, I would do that. I would um use some weird combinations of stuff. Very weird. Well, it's still on medium and it's doing pretty good. I'm gonna have to get something to serve this with soon. Thanks. 
to see if it's going to be on the line. Start seasoning. Blood. Blood. Be honest, I know why I'm so hard, which is good to know. <laughs> The first time using this pot. So I put the chili powder, the growing mixture, growing seasoning, coarse black pepper, flake salt, house blend, and some garlic powder. Still waiting for it to like do its thing. You know I mean? Ready. And here I was thinking I'd have to use the hand rolls. Um, I, I mean, use like pot holders because of the hand rolls. But I didn't have to. I'm trying to like get everything in there. I got a couple little things in there, but all in all, it looks pretty good. So, this is pretty much what the brand looks like right now. It doesn't look delicious. Alright, so I'm gonna get this ready. Move it down a little. I'm gonna add more oil for the meat. I have to wash my hands again because. And we have some ground beef, like I was saying before, from the grocery store. This is the shop rate. This is their shop rate ground beef, 80% lean, 20% fat. Because we like that fat in this house. It's uh, 1.47 gallons, almost one and a half pounds. I didn't want to get too much because I'm probably not going to do this well. Bunny, come meow, come meow. So it's starting, you see what I mean? Like it's still kind of raw. And there's so much liquid coming out of here, but I'm gonna leave it because why not? I'm gonna give it all that flavor. I might not have to put as much sauce in it. We're really cooking here. That's at 20% fat, <laughs> mixed with the liquid from the water, from the vegetables, and the brown bits, and the extra virgin olive oil. It's delicious. Delicious. It'll be delicious once it's cooked. It's taking a bit, but patient. All that liquid. Right, I'm going to throw this together now. All together now, together now, all together now. Together, it'll be ready soon. Yeah, the meat finally cooked. I'm not gonna do the garlic, I changed my mind. I'm gonna start to add... I'll do the beans first, okay. We got Rienzi again, imported from Italy. Red kidney beans. And I'm gonna rinse them in the sink. My little... And then to get some of that liquid off, I need, although it does say this one is one of the one of the purest ones I've seen, red kidney beans and water. And it says it's a low sodium food. Oh no. Shit, it broke. Oh my god. It broke. We have an old-fashioned hand opener, right? Yeah. There it is. Broke on you? Yeah, and I got a string of these because I don't want to put them straight up in. Okay, the toss. Some nice mix together. Add the sauce. Maybe add some more seasoning to taste. 
you want to warm up those beans so as they come straight out of the can and then in the same. <laughs> Yeah, I've done these with like, I want to say black eyed peas. So I saw the black eyed peas today and I was like tempted. And I've done it with the other beans. Kind of, what are they called? Can, can, on. can of something. You know what I mean? The white ones. Those are good. I'm going to use like chicken, ground chicken or ground turkey. Cannellini. I think that's what it is. Beans. Now it's going to use like pretty much the whole thing. I'll show you what it looks like now that it's coming together. And this is good because like I some I used to make it without the beans sometimes. And then it's less carbs. But like the vegetables have natural carbs in them. Like I'm not gonna be afraid to eat peppers and onions. So you know, the beans are like a good, they're like a good protein, a good carb. And then you got the meat, which is protein, mostly. And uh, to me, this is like a healthy meal. It's healthy, it's guilt free, it smells freaking delicious. Let me show you. So, this is my big ass pot of chili. Like a fall day or a winter night dinner, it's good. And the tomato sauce adds more like, carbs and sugar to it, but it's not, they're not bad sugars, in my opinion. So, it smells so good. I need to like let it simmer, come together more. I just put a little because I'm going to taste it with you. But let's see what it's like. I don't know about the Tabasco, I might have more chili to it. <laughs> Woo! Spicy and hot. 